So today's video is about how to create a strong LinkedIn profile. If you can, I recommend you watch the video, perhaps on a cell phone or on half a screen, and that, so that you can follow along and actually create your profile at the same time. Of course, just email me if you have any questions or need help, but let's get started. I'm going to start from the very beginning, take it as a review if you already know this, but I don't wanna assume anything. So uh, open up your browser, that uh, might be Chrome, Safari, whatever the internet browser is that you use. And in your top line here, you're going to type in linkedin.com. So linkedin.com, enter. Okay, so if you already have a profile uh, over here, you'll be able to sign in. Um, otherwise, let's go ahead and create a new profile. And that's right here with join now. So we're going to hit join now. And we are going to uh, go ahead and create a profile for our friend Mark Thompson today. So email address is info at, we're going to use the info at RBS Drone Tech dot com and we will put in a password for mark i'll tell you what it is mark um, we're going to agree and join and now that takes us to uh the next screen so we'll go ahead and put in mark thompson continue uh i am not a robot so we'll click that and now it's going to let us go ahead and fill in some more information. So Chicago, Illinois, uh, we are going to put in RBS uh, Drone Tech here. Actually, we'll go ahead and put, uh, I've created a business page for you. So that's there. And we'll put in the chief operating officer, that title's right there, uh, continue. Uh, let's confirm your email address. So at this point, I am going to stop and connect with Mark so that he can let me know what the code is that he got. Uh, 562462, uh, agree and confirm. Are you looking for a new job? Not now. Okay, so this is going to start asking you people that you know. I'm not going to do this for Mark, but it is a good idea to connect with people you know in real life. Uh, that is the best way to make um, to take advantage of of your um, of your profile on LinkedIn. But for right now, we're going to skip this, and we're going to go straight to um, we're going to go straight to setting up the profile. So I'm going to use Mark's profile from uh, the one that we have on the website right now. So we're going to add the photo. So you'll click on Add Photo, and then you'll find where that photo is from your uh, right there. So you'll find that photo from where you have it on your computer. For our headshots, here we go, and there we have Mr. Mark Thompson. So we're going to drop that photo in and let's see that looks that looks good uh it's all straight do we want to zoom make it a little bit bigger there we go okay we're going to save the photo and there we go all right there we go it's important to have a photo because there are a lot of mark thompson's on uh, linkedin and so that way as soon as people see it they see his smiling face, and then they know that it's the right Mark Thompson. We're gonna skip this for now so that we can get to the good stuff in terms of uh, going ahead and setting up the profile. You'll see that a lot of this stuff, they're giving you options. You don't need to make decisions on everything here. The photo is one that you must do, uh, but some of these other things you can skip for now. Uh, we don't need to worry about getting the LinkedIn app right now. You can do that later and we're going to finish if there's companies that you want to follow what's going on with that you can link that here but again you can also just finish and skip that now that your profile is live you can go in and edit it and add information at any time you do that by going into where it says right here with me when you click on the down arrow you will see view profile click on view profile and you'll come to this screen, which allows you 
to start to add things. I'm going to recommend you skip these top ones for now, and let's go down to what we want to change. So the things that we want to add are an about section. Let's take a look at that. So again, add a profile section. We're going to add about, and we want to add a summary. So let's click on plus. And now that gives us a space to add a summary. I have prepared a summary for Mark that I will send to everyone that you can use that talks about why someone would want to talk to you. So summary, drones are the future. At RBS, we train you and your employees to pass the FAA exam, uh, which you need to make money. Contact me about uh, classroom training. So all the reasons someone would contact you. Uh, classroom training, hands-on training, uh, setting up training on site, drone services. A couple things to notice when you're writing your summary here is that you cannot, uh, they don't offer bold or anything like that. So anytime you want something to stand out, you have to do it in all caps and you can just do dashes and things like that since bullets are not uploaded here. So let's go ahead and save this. Uh, actually, before we save it, no, we're going so let's go ahead and save this. Okay, uh, you'll notice that your profile strength keeps getting stronger as you do it. The next thing that we want to do is add some more work experience for Mark and some more companies he's worked at so that he can connect with people he worked with in the past. So let's come down to experience and we're going to click on the little pencil, which means edit. Uh, we have the RBS. Let's add a description to this. I will send this to you so you can just cut and paste it. And it is the description from the website. So that is the description of the company. And now we will save that. You can always add additional experience by pressing the plus button. We'll add Mark's experience at the Chicago Police Department. Lieutenant, uh, Chicago. As you type in your company, if it's something that's formally known, it will come up and you can just click and then it'll fill in. And then that will alert other people who worked at those companies that you now have a profile online. Uh, we will unclick. I am currently working in this role. Uh, start year was 1990 and the end year was 2012. Okay, uh, description, you can put a description. If you want, Mark, you can come back and do that, but you can put something that gives a little bit more about what you did there, and we'll go ahead and save that. So that will add that also to Mark's experience, and you'll see that right there. Okay, so you can always go back in each time and continue to add more experience. There's a couple other things we'd like to change on this. One is this image right at the top here. That is appropriate for a banner image. You can change that by clicking on the plus sign right there. And then you'll see again, every time you see that pencil, you can change things. And so we can click on that, navigate to where the photo is on your computer, click on it, and that will now be there. I'm going to move this up a teeny bit so that RBS is fully visible and hit apply. This is also a photo that I will send you so that you all can use the same masthead if you like. And we're going to go ahead and save that. A couple other things you will likely want to add to your profile that is education and also your licenses and certifications. That's particularly important when we're talking about being in a licensed drone pilot, licensed pilot, ships captains and such. Those will be important to add. For education, for both of those, if you do add profile section, this brings this drop down menu. And then if background's not already opened as it is here, just click on that arrow and that will get you here. So education, you can put in your college. So for Mark, we know that that is Calumet College of St. Joseph. Click on that, degree, 
let's go master's first. So master's degree, field of study was law enforcement administration. Oh, there we go. So that's right there. Uh, and you actually, that's fine if you just want to leave that right there. You can add in your start year, your end year. So we know that Mark got his master's in 2005. You are welcome to include that information. I believe you can also leave that blank and let's go ahead and save. Okay. And you can continue as such. I will let Mark take it from here, but you can go back and add your license. If you have volunteer experience, that's where you can put in your work with the Tuskegee Airmen, uh, particular skills. So those are all things that every time you want to just enhance your profile, you go to me, view profile, and you can update your profile. Once your profile is live, you can now build your network. As a bare minimum, you can start to search for each other. So let's see if Ken is here. There he is. So we're going to um, connect. So you can click on the person's name. Ken will get you a photo. <laughs> so when you click connect, where it says add a note, always, always, always add a note. If you don't, it comes across as impersonal. So just to let people know how you know them. So for example, hi. Ken, great to work with you at RBS. Done. So Ken will now get an invitation to, um, to connect with Mark. We can also do that. I think we know that Charlie is here as well. There we go, Charlie's right there. So we'll connect with Charlie as well, and we'll also get Charlie's picture so that he can load that as well. So again, add a note. Hi, Charlie, isn't linked in fun. Okay. For our next video, we will look more closely at how to connect people. You'll start to get suggestions like this. If you know people in person, you can always click connect. Or as we showed, you can search in this button, always send a personal note. And again, in the next video, we'll look at how to build your network, but then also how to use your network to begin to promote RBS and the services that RBS Drone Technologies offers. Before we close, let's go back and look at Mark's profile. We see his face so that people know who he is when they're connecting. We know he's involved in drones. We've got the information about what he's, why he wants you to contact him, uh, as well as some of his, his experience. If you have any questions or need help, just give me a call or send me an email. And there's my contact information. Thank you.